Welcome to this short training on how to manage S908 drops on the Modicon M580. Modicon remote IOs are used worldwide on more than 75,000 S908 buses. The M580 EPAC supporting this technology will allow a smooth step-by-step -step migration path for customers to migrate from legacy architectures. After viewing this training, the trainee will be able to configure from scratch S908 drops on the M580. The trainee will also understand how to access the device variables via the state RAM such as found on the Quantum PLC. Finally, you will be presented information on how to migrate an existing Quantum application to the Modicon M580. The Quantum S908 adapter, known as the QSA, must be used to connect the Quantum drop that supports the S908 head, the CRP, to Ethernet I.O. Note that all existing Quantum, Cymax, and 800 series drops and I.O. modules are supported. Let's take a look at how to configure it in Unity Pro. First, create a new Unity Pro project using Unity Pro version 12 or higher. Select a model 40 or higher CPU supporting Ethernet I.O. An M580 CPU operating system version 2.3 or higher is necessary to support the QSA. Open the I.O. bus editor. Then double click on a node and select a Quantum S908 remote drop in the rack. This drop will support your S908 architecture. In the rack, configure a 140 CRP 93X00 remote I.O. head S908. As this is done, our S908 bus is created in the Unity Pro project browser. Double click on it to open the S908 editor exactly like you would in the Quantum Unity. Double click on a node and select a drop, a rack, and a communication module catalog of modules available on Quantum, Cymax, and 800 series drop is the same as the existing one in Quantum Unity. Here one Quantum I.O. drop at address 2 is configured with two I.O. modules. When configuring an I.O. module, for example a digital input on a Quantum drop, you can set the state RAM address of the input exactly like you do on Quantum. This preserves the portability of most of your application program. Lastly, like on the Quantum, you must deactivate the security features in the CPU before being able to build your application without errors and before the transfer of the program to the CPU. Diagnostics from the application can be found in the input data of the QSA device DDT, which has been created during the build. The application can not only access the status of the module itself, but also the status of the S908 drops. For example, you can tell if the S908 IOs are okay via the global IO health bit. You can tell if the S908 CRP is operational via the remote I.O. error bit. You can tell if the CRP is active or standby via the master state bit. You can tell if the S908 inputs are correctly refreshed via the input ready bit. From the Unity I.O. bus screen, as usual, we can also visualize a faulty module in the rack. For example, when I unplug an I.O. module from the backplane. Now let's cover the migration of an existing application. Up until now we have shown how to configure a new M580 S908 application in Unity. However, in most cases, customers will be starting with an existing Quantum application. Let's see the different hardware changes needed to change your existing S908 Quantum architecture to an S908 M580 architecture. Let's imagine the customer has a Quantum Hot Standby S908 architecture as shown here. 
configuration already supports an Ethernet I.O. ring in order to anticipate the future migration to a plant structure architecture. For the integration of the M580, you have to remove the quantum CPUs and replace them with QSA modules. You'll add redundant M580 PLCs with redundant CPUs. Connect the CPUs and the QSA to the Ethernet I.O. ring. Remove the old quantum Ethernet I.O. CRP. And finally, simply convert the quantum Unity application to M580 and transfer it to the M580 CPUs. Here is a live demo of what was explained prior. You can see a quantum application managing one quantum drop and one 800 series drop. After the program conversion, simply replace the quantum CPU with the new QSA and connect it to the Ethernet I.O. loop driven by the M580 CPU. After a few seconds while the QSA initializes, the M580 becomes fully operational in the Quantum and the 800 series I.O. are again refreshed over S908. With the QSA offer, you have seen that you can convert your existing architecture based on S908 to M580 with minimum risk, cost, and investment. You can keep your S908 cabling and just change the quantum CPU for an M580 CPU before envisioning to completely switch to new Ethernet I.O. solutions. The application conversion efforts are minimized thanks to the fact that we reuse the same configuration tools and that the remote I.O. variables are still addressed in the same manner. Moreover, a new version of the application converter will allow you to completely re-import the entire S908 configuration from a Quantum Unity application into a M580 and QSA application. Thank you for watching. For further information, please contact your local Schneider Electric representative.